Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name's Sturx and welcome back. If you've got this far through kind of conventional means, if you've watched it from episode 1 to episode 25, you've watched like 13 to 14 hours of me, which is incredible, thank you. I, I still kind of get stumped when I realise just how much love you guys are giving this. Don't get me wrong, a lot of this is because it's Outer Wilds and you guys are just rabid, rampant Outer Wilds fans, but now it's starting to become clear that quite a few of you turning up not because it's Outer Wilds, but because it's this. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Thank you anyway. What we're going to do today is the thing I've not been looking forward to. We're going to go to the Dark Bramble, and I'm not going to get distracted this time. I'm not going to go to the Quantum Moon. I'm not going to get distracted by anything along the way. Take that with a pinch of salt. We're going to go to the Dark Bramble. And I'm going to try find Feldspar. I feel like this is what we need to do. I feel like this is the next step in the journey. Before I go hunting down any of the rest of the Nomai, I need to find the last of the Travellers. Because they're out there somewhere playing a harmonica. And it's only right that we go and find them. I don't exactly know what voice I'm going to give Feldspar yet either. Presuming that they're still alive. I'm presuming they're alive because they're playing their harmonica. But I haven't actually managed to think of a voice. Although, to be fair, I don't think I think of a voice for characters before I meet them. All the voices so far have been very much just impromptu. I have been kindly reminded and I'm actually happy about this. I've been kindly reminded that my ship has a signal scope. So when I was kind of worrying about how the heck do I find Feldspar in amongst all of this, the answer is the signal scope. And I can't forget that. That's what I should have done last time. As for avoiding the fishies, I'm not entirely sure. I know that they're blind. So I'm guessing it's either based on sound or it's my lights. Like if they're kind of blind but they're they're actually just very short-sighted maybe with the lights are affecting it um otherwise we're gonna have to be really careful with our maneuvering as to not make noise too much and that's really unsettling hi bramble it's been a long while how have you been i've been good thank you you're looking well I'm not looking forward to this. Right, I'm so to that extent, I'm gonna turn off my lights. We're gonna do a run without the lights. Right? I'm gonna see if that makes any difference. Okay. Operation Finding Feldspar. Okay. Feldspar, buddy. Okay. Aha! There's another one. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. Um, oh, guys, this is as bad as I was remembering it. I'm just gonna really gently float through here nothing too major nothing too dramatic or forceful we're just gonna float until we find the boy the fella I can't believe last time I didn't even think of this I was just going off color and I to me the red one seems smart because there's probably a bonfire all the other travelers have a bonfire but i was wrong wasn't i kiddos i just really hope i don't run into them i really hope i don't oh that's quite a lot that's a lot of lights that's a lot of light please no please no Please no. Please no. 
That's too many lights. That is way too many lights. Oh, one of them's got to be an anglerfish. One of them's got to be an anglerfish. Oh. Just keep going. Just keep going. Don't look around. If you can't see it, it can't see you. That's how it works. That's what Mama told me. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, dude. We're nearly there. Nice and gentle. Steady does it. Steady does it. Okay, there's only one in here. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm praying that's a good thing. I am praying that's a good thing. I know Kung Fu! Oh, oh this is awful. This is a big empty gap. This is this is a big empty gap. This is a massive empty gap. It's that one. This one's deaders. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. Where can I land? Where can I land? Please. Do I need to go in from the back? Maybe. Let's go in from the back. Oh my God! Have we made it? Have we made it? We pop that away. Come on. Let's squeeze on in. <clears throat> Come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. Or do I just? I think I just leave it floating here. Maybe? I because I don't think I can uh no, I think I can I, I like a glove. Right, you know what? Let's leave it here so I know it's not going anywhere. Right? Let's leave it there. Th there's probably very likely that it's not gonna be able to get out of there. Just because I have parked it in a really stupid place. <sighs> uh... Feldspar! We found them! Whoa! Where do you come from? No one's come in here in, well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach the Dark Bramble after me, of course. Well done! Say, it's... it's you! They made you an astronaut. And you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. Feldspar, you're alive. You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? You're the greatest pilot in Harthian history, Feldspar. I haven't lived in polite society for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. The story goes like this. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep, and I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one had ever been before. Getting around in Dark Bramble is easy, mind you. Once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, you've dodged them all. And after a while, I ran into this huge anglerfish. You've seen him? Big gnarly things, and this was the biggest one I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off, nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me and knocks me into a vine. And well, like I said, I crash. Blammo! On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparkling like crazy. So I either move fast or die unpleasantly. 
so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first and found this skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. You have emergency tree seeds? That's... How quick do these trees grow? Maybe that's why the Harthians have to have, like, the lumberjack kind of position quite prominent. Maybe if their trees are growing so quick, they're more like weeds. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Oh, don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Um... Let's just check and see if there's anything that they did to actually get inside the actual core of Giant's Deep. Ah, that was a wild one. But since you're asking, i got to assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. You want to go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. That's not what I was expecting to find out from it. Error, duplicate, signal. Okay, right, never mind. Let's talk to him about other stuff. Uh, na, 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 na. Where should I explore here? That's the spirit! Anywhere is good, but you should know that space is weird here intensely. Ever tried throwing your scout into one of these weird seeds? See there, with a little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tracker will tell you the scout is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly, because space doesn't work right in here. The seed looks small, but inside it's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is space and dark bamboo kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep that in mind while you're exploring dark bramble, and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. Thanks, Feldspar. Um, found something. Uh, I found a dark bramble seed on Timber Hearth. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Chirp will tell you, if you so much as glance at Dark Bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet where the Bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading towards the same fate. But I tell you what, we Harthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. He's got a point. They've got a point. Um, I found I know my writing saying anglerfish are blind. Aha! So the blasted things do have a weakness. Meaning my fly as fast as I can approach to dealing with them could have used a bit more thought behind it. Ah well, at least they didn't eat me. All's well that ends well, hey, hatchling. Very true. Right, so he's, they said go to the tail end. Oh, that's what that sparking is. I can see the sparking now. Let's go have a look. So if we come across an anglerfish, then we need to be gentle. Gentle and quiet. <laughs> What's... Oh, the big hollow vine. Let's see what they mean now. Let's go park in. I don't think there's going to be much I can do to interact with that. But we'll go have a look anyway. I'm just going to kind of park this down in a kind of impromptu fashion, so I can go and have a quick look at Feldspar's ship, because I feel like I'd be silly if I didn't. Although, to be fair, if the other ships are anything to go by, I don't think there's going to be much for me to interact with. Which is fine. Which is fine, yeah. I can't see anything to interact with. Back to the ship, and let's explore this hollow vine. 
I guess. So we've got... Oh, wow. Because they did say on a completely unrelated note. Oh, that's too small for my ship. That's too, that's too small for my ship. Right, let's uh, restock on fuel. And let's go and be brave. I guess. Oh, boy. This is not my idea of fun, I can tell you that. Where am I? Why is it not foggy anymore? Wait! Why is my ship 2.6 kilometers away? Where the heck? Trip four, entry, uh, I'm gonna say not one. Crashes three, boring crashes zero. Woohoo! Never thought I'd see one of the BCs outside of Giant Steep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe jellyfish could be useful here too. Blech. This thing tastes terrible. The outside's all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates jellyfish insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see if what's in there tastes any better. Is there actually a way inside the core? No, it's Feldspar. Do not eat this. Even if you are dying, it would be too sad if this was the last thing you ever ate in your life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. So do I need to find one that's going down into the core? That's what that's telling me. That's definitely what that's telling me, right? But where am I? So I said this is far from Giants Deep. No, I'm still in the bramble. I'm still in the bramble. Uh, what? Why? How? Is this just further and further inside? It must be. Okay, so now we know how to get to the center of Giant's Deep. I just have to find a jellyfish that's going to sink. Or is that how they got... It just seems weird that they're mentioning the fact that it, you know, insulates you from... Gravity. Not gravity, from electricity. I'm thinking about gravity. There's something down there. I have to. For science, right? I have to. Oh, I'm outside! Oh, no. I'm outside. Oh, no. I don't have my ship to protect me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh. Oh. <sighs> this is not my idea of fun. That one's closer, so we'll all go to that one. Uh, uh, I don't even know what speed I'm moving at. I don't even know. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. 
I'm okay. Uh, I don't look around. If I see something moving in here, I'm gonna freak. Uh -huh. I don't like this in the slightest. This is my idea of a nightmare. But we're doing it. We've made a lot of progress. So think of that. Think positively. Think positively, my, my, my guy, my dude, my fella, my brave boy. Okay. That, okay. We're okay, I think. I think this is okay. I think we're all right in here. Maybe. Yeah, we're okay in here. We're okay in here, definitely. I'm gonna say we're okay in here. And my eye is running again. I still have really bad- oh my god. I feel like I'm crying. God damn, hay fever! Y'all got me crying in here. Crying for the third time in an outer wilds, and it's not because of the outer wilds. Mm. Alright. We're nearly there. We're nearly there, buddy. Feldspa! I need your emergency oxygen, please. So wait, they, they came here... first, then? But I'm pretty sure they said that they didn't do this first. They did the Dark Bramble first. Not the Dark Bramble, the Giant Steep first. I don't really know. Much confused. Okay, so we've got that. There's more signals. Wait. No! Ah, oh, come on! <sighs> Why now? I was just getting into this. Guess we just have some marshmallows. I guess. I never noticed that my stick has got little leaves coming out of it. I've never noticed that before. How have I not noticed the leaves? Hmm. I'm guessing they were always there. Right? They've got to have been. Yeah, well, Feldspar, we're here. Ooh, here we go. Marshmallows. So that means Feldspar isn't the one with the third mask. No mention of dying or anything like that. No mention of it whatsoever. Who's the third mask? I thought it was going to be Feldspar. Unless it, my theory stands true and there is somewhere a Nomai. Ah! Jesus Christ, that came out of nowhere. Well, we found Feldspar. And now I know it is actually possible to get inside the core of Giant's Deep. Which is pretty exciting. I just, I can't remember seeing any of the jellyfish go downwards, unless maybe if we get inside the jellyfish, it kind of weighs it down a bit and it'll sink. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe it's a physics puzzle. Because I haven't seen any going, just floating downwards. So my guess is we're going to have to kind of commandeer one and ride it down into the in, into the deep. Perhaps, maybe. We'll see.
I guess. But yeah, so these trees must grow incredibly quickly. If they've got like emergency seeds that they can just plant um, and give them oxygen quick enough before they run out of oxygen, these things must be like weeds. Which is really weird because trees typically grow incredibly slowly. Like that's kind of part of the whole thing with trees, isn't it? That when you get a tree, like if there was a tree that big, like if you go to like the redwoods, they are ancient, you know, beyond human life, beyond our lifespan. Like sometimes like tenfold, some of the trees that have been around. I have seen, um, oh my God, what's his name? What was his name? Hippocrates. I have seen Hippocrates' tree. Hippocrates is essentially the person who's who's known for the Hippocratic Oath, um, which is to, to, you know, medicine and all that. And there's a famous tree on one of the Greek islands you can go visit, and this thing is old, it's dying, it's held up by scaffolding. But it was around in, like, the ancient Greek kind of time, which is really, really cool. I love having that connection to history sometimes, seeing things that are just unfathomably old. And I can't wait to see what's at the, the center of Giant's Deep. I think that's that's the next the next thing. There's more to explore on the Dark Bremble. Don't worry, I have not forgotten about the vessel. But I want to follow this thread. I want to follow the dark, you know, the Feldspar thread and see what they found down there. Because they were very quiet about that. I love how even Feldspar wouldn't spoil the game. I love that. I love this game. As always, guys, I've got to thank you all for watching. It means a huge amount. It keeps me going. It makes me happy. Plus, this smile on my face. But as always, I've been Sturks. You, you've been incredible. And I'll catch you all later for the next part of our little adventure. <laughs>